Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Silva and today I'm going to show you a few monster sketches. Um, I have already pre-recorded a video of me drawing the monsters and we're going to jump right in to the video. Okay, the video is going to go on and I'm just going to talk over it. Here I'm showing you what brush I'm using. You know, just your regular squared texture brush. Now, before I do this, I have a rough idea of what I want to do. And um, when this video was uh, recorded, I was actually playing a lot of uh, Guild Wars 2, which is an MMO for those of you who you probably know. But And I noticed like in, in the MMO, there was this giant, really cool looking, uh, well, bosses, I guess. Uh, for this one, I wanted to do something like that, where you're just, you know, you're you're really small in comparison to to the monster or to to the boss. Um, I tend to to start with silhouettes if I want to do something like really quick that reads well. That uh, at the first glance you're like, whoa, okay, this this is a monster, or whoa, I should watch out for that, especially. That's especially important in games. So I'm blocking in some basic uh, black and white sketches, and I believe I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I'm still gonna work a little bit around the character. So for this one, I want to do some kind of Nordic slash woody type uh, character. I wanted him, as I mentioned, to be a giant. Uh, later on, I'll be adding like a little person. Well, not little, but just a normal player down there, just to give a little bit of um, of a comparison. And right now, I'm adding in. Honestly, it's just designing with the light and shadow. But building in basic shapes with with light and shadow can be quite fast. Um, what am I draw drawing over here? Oh yeah, I was gonna draw some kind of huge bird on top of him, but then I'm like, that defeats the purpose of him being huge. And then there's a huge bird. I wanted just the character to be the main focus. And here's our little guy doing some kind of funny pose, like attacking. Um, The game is quite fun. That's one of the, the things that I actually liked talking about Guild Wars 2 real quick. It's uh you have a bunch of players fighting against like giant bosses in instances, it's really cool. So I wanted to give that feel of epicness. There's this giant giant Norse kind of uh monster and uh Oh yeah, I, I had to select the character right here. I had to select the character out and uh, divide him because later on I'm gonna put the monsters side by side. I, I will be drawing them uh, and that's gonna make my life much easier. Uh, here I'm starting to put in smaller shapes uh, so the character can be a little bit more identified. What what does he carry or any shapes that give us some inspiration as well, because these are not going to be finished, you know, full, fully fledged out uh, concepts or illustrations. It's more of a, you know, a guideline, an inspiration, something we can build on top really quick and um, and have fun. You know, just try out ideas. And no need to refine. Uh, everything until it's fully, fully polished. I have a, I think, yeah, I want, I wanted to add some, some belts in there. I think I'll end up going back and making that better. And um, oh, he, I want him to look Norse-like, but also like he would come from, from deep in the woods or maybe even a sw swamp. Um, which could indicate that he's like an undead 
uh, Norse giant. Trying to give him, figuring out what kind of weapon would he use, or is he his arm weapon like a tree, like um, like branches uh, shape? I don't think that looks so cool. Right now I'm playing with the gesture. Where where the hell does the hand go? <laughs> there we go. These these sketches are pretty quick i think um all of them uh, everything together took me like an hour or so they're really fun you really, really should try this so i'm trying to put some kind of trunk or broken trunk on on his back um you can't quite see it but the idea is that on his back he would have a shield and coming out of the shield would be this kind of tree trunks uh, I think that would look quite cool I'm giving him some a bit of a glow because we all know that you're not really undead unless your whole body is glowing <laughs> oh uh, here I am um, resizing the character because I felt like he was a little bit too small in order for me to do uh, details. I didn't want to make my canvas already big, so I ended up, since he's already pretty sketchy, I ended up anyway making him bigger and I'll go over him and clean things up, add little, more little details. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try to refine that area in there, trying to show that he has a shield. I believe I could have done it better, but, you know, as long as I know that the idea is there and I, um, you know, I understand it and I can always explain it if you're showing it to a, an art director, where do you want to go? He can always give you the okay and you know what's there. Or maybe even make some notes along, you know, you could write on the sides. Uh, right next to the characters, some some pointers, some, like, you know, anything that you might want to add as a detail. I think, yeah, at, at this point, I'm trying to play with, still with the bird idea, like he has, you know, a, a bird um, around his his shoulder. The shape is not coming up right now. Still playing around with idea. Some ideas just don't, just don't work out uh, as well as you'd like to, or you just have to keep working at it, like over and over until you find the right shape. Right, right now it's it's really all about shapes. Um, I really wanted to have that bird, <laughs> either alive or. Or that just resting like on on his shoulder like like this yeah yeah I end up drawing it but I don't think it, it's not very clear <laughs> it's not like first glance and you, and you see it but it's there like I said you can put some notes on the side if you don't want to start just quick sketches you can always leave it in there I still I still think it's a cool idea, it's just not uh, rendered enough, not clear enough. Doing a little bit of cleanup. Now when doing these bosses, it's always a good idea, like what kind of, I mean monsters, what kind of moves would they, would they do or you can come up with? Um, here I am trying to clear up a little bit more of that bird silhouette. <laughs> oh man. And uh, yeah, wh what is your monster meant to do? What would be its attacks? Because the, the design is gonna, if it's not human-like, and even if it's human-like, you still should uh, have a good idea 
Um, mm. What do you wh what do you want him to to do? What is what what is his purpose, right? Versus the player. Here I am trying to add. I just now uh, yeah, just trying to add a couple of leaf shapes. I really wanted that shield, <laughs> but I didn't end up going back and cleaning it up. Um, yeah, the the background, so to speak. So he's since he's a giant, it I wanted to make it like he's surrounded. He's uh, there's kind of like a hole. No, I don't know if you've seen some some games like that where uh, you can go around a boss. So you have like in a circle right um can go around uh, a boss and, and fight him maybe it could be something like that so the terrain is actually more elevated than uh than where he, the boss would actually be um standing on kind of like he would be on a hole something like that the poor guy just just walking around fell on the hole oh there you go the evil eyes I was thinking maybe he'll be a cyclop. Hmm. That mouth is not. It's not quite angry because bosses always have. They seem to always have a bad day. <laughs> um. Uh, later on, I'll end up adding a couple more skulls around to really bring the undead. Because we all know that you're not. You're fake undead if you don't have skulls. Real undeads have skulls. Or themselves are a skull. Now there you go. There you go. Just roughly, um, I'm not really drawing the skull. I'm just drawing the shape. Maybe he would have like a... Some kind of skull necklace around. Or from previous... Previous monsters. Or, you know. Now I'm playing with his uh, helmet shape. I can't quite... can quite decide on what I want. I, I like the simplicity of it and I felt like adding something more to the head would uh, would mess up a little bit with the shape behind uh, behind him, the the shield shape. Where you see the trunks coming out. Now I'm adding the same type of design on the other hand as I have uh, on the hand that's closer to us I don't know why I <laughs> I don't know why I erased the brush strokes uh, maybe it was I was frustrated and I just took it on that brush stroke in there I am I trusted good old Smudge tool, smudging some of the areas to bring a little bit more of a smooth surface. A little bit of cleanup, but again, I don't want to clean too much. Um, these are meant to be sketches. These are meant to, to you know, when you, you do sketches, there's that energy in them that makes it really cool. Um, I, I I tend to to over render things, so I made sure that in, in this case I I better keep keep my eye on it and and not over render anything. Yes, we can clean up, but keep it simple, simple shapes, simple light shapes and simple dark shapes. Uh, here, adding some specular light to the to the environment. There could be some rocks in there. Um, this could also indicate ice spikes. Maybe it could be a frozen swamp. Um, this, you know, it's just got frozen. Maybe he. Since he's uh, Nordic, he he arrived there. Everywhere he passes by, he freezes uh, the environment around him. Could be that. 
you know we can can play with ideas this is what these sketches are all about um it starts generic but then you as you keep working at it as you keep doing more iterations of the same sketch you start getting more and more different ideas for today's video though we're gonna stick to just one monster each so this one iteration per monster so i made the monster smaller because i'm gonna i feel like it's ready it's it's good enough and um and move on to the next character i believe and when doing monster sketches i i like to have them side by side maybe they could be in the same world maybe it's just a reminder don't do the same as that one um so right now i'm going on a completely different uh, completely different shapes here for this one I have more of a, I want more of a natural organic kind of shapes maybe yeah may, maybe some flowery shapes maybe it's a bug you know and I must say that it definitely makes things more interesting and fun if you have a, a brush that can give you marks that you would normally get with just a round one uh, naturally if there's a little bit of texture if it can look a little edgy you know anything to make it interesting and and that it could surprise you really that, that's really the main uh, the main thing we we want from this surprise uh, trying to get something that we wouldn't usually quite think of even if it's listen not every idea is a dumb idea and that's that's also very true when it comes to painting specifically when it comes to painting um there's not really you know really dumb ideas it's more like some things don't work out and and you just gotta risk you just got gotta even if you think it's dumb do it let it out of your system you know and the more you do that the more you realize what works and what doesn't work here i am playing with uh, light and dark i'm like thinking all right all right this is like a grass type monster Maybe it could, that could be his element since he's like a bug. You know, usually, usually uh, you tend to mix mix those both. Um, I wanted to give him a bug shape, but it's kind of looking like almost like a skull in a way. So I I try to add him other elements to break away from that. Uh, when also when coming up with monsters it's it's nice it's a nice practice to merge two completely different things or well maybe not even completely but two different subjects for example uh, obviously the bug and also i'm going for a flower type and how can i merge those two you know how how can i make use the shape of both or even uh, both anatomy and kind of make it work uh, almost in a Frankenstein way but trying to make as much sense uh, as you can uh, as you possibly can also sometimes uh, too much sense can make things boring so we, we want to have fun we want to make interesting we want um, surprising silhouettes right when we look at it like whoa okay that that could be cool or whoa that that's actually cool um i want more of that or if you if you don't quite make it then you're like oh okay so if i do this plus that 
uh, it doesn't look so good so this next time i'm gonna do ne next monster i'm gonna do it a little bit different sketching is so so important but you gotta make sure that you're out of your comfort zone at all times it's good to be on your comfort zone and know what you can do how fast you can do things and how well you can do things in your comfort zone and obviously it's always good to work on your com comfort zone as well but more times more often than not you you're not going to be doing your always your comfort zone uh subjects right so why not get used to the to the feeling of being in um you know in a state of <laughs> insecurity because if you're out of your comfort zone by default you you get you feel insecure um so right now i'm more fixing things adding little design elements that could make the um, make this monster interesting so yeah, it's like a couple bugs maybe two bugs here mixed in with with a flower and I added some some teeth to the flower as well maybe that part opens up I'm just putting in design elements that could lead to possible um, monster attacks right um, anything that that helps you know there could be attacks with his with his little paws there could be attacks with with his long body uh, and tail there could be attacks with again with the flower the top part as well maybe even camouflage you know maybe he could sit under under tall grass or even bury himself who knows right uh, it could be a trap monster like you walk by and you think oh it's just a nice flower you're passing by and then it jumps out things like that things of that nature and we're done with that one and <laughs> for this last one it's more of a throwback monster in a way because uh, I always loved in 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 the old games when I when I was younger there all there was always these slime monsters they were very popular it's like newbie starting area monsters and uh you know we've done two kind of serious monsters so why not have some fun and do a goofy monster like a goofy slime monster you know they're, they're easy they're fun they're relaxing uh they're very very forgiving to to draw because there's not much wrong you can can uh go with these guys that's another thing that, that it's important even if you're doing serious things take take five minutes ten minutes twenty minutes just to draw something even if it has nothing to do with with uh, your current assignment or your current personal project um, still do this do, do something that you really enjoy you, you have fun that a positive feeling because so much of this so much of uh problem solving and uh, and shape designing and all of that the whole thinking can be quite can be quite stressful so doing these little little nice drawings whatever it makes you feel like it, have a good positive feeling just just do it no with me it's like this, this little bleh, monster going maybe maybe he goes around scaring players but it's it's not really a threat to anybody else he's more of a goofy jump scare maybe could be a pet could be a monster pet 
you know. Uh, you, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you, you can guess that I, I play, most of the time I play, you know, RPGs, MMOs. They're so fun. They're so fun. So much variety as well in just one world. And we can even have these as, you know, the goofy one that we're drawing right now. Could be, you know, the starting zone. Could be even a, a helper monster, you know. And the top one right above him could be like an intermediate monster. And then the boss, the first drawing we, we've drawn, you know. Make them by levels. And with that said, I guess another idea would be making each each one of these that you I, I just drew or whatever you're drawing, uh, make each one of those monsters a higher tier or lower tier monster. So for example, the goofy one, how would you make him a boss? How would you make him terrifying while keeping the character, you know? And the same could go for all of the others. How could you make a boss a cute one, like a, a starting monster, a starting area monster, or a low-level monster? How, how would you go about it and still keep the essence of, of that monster that you're drawing? Keep challenging yourself, coming up with ideas. You, honestly, you, you will surprise yourself really a lot um, I've done this for for a while already for several clients and it never ceases, ceases to support to surprise me I mean <laughs> it's always pretty pretty cool this neat little monster is really cool so yeah I here, we're done with all three of them. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing them. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video.